for it to be according to your will and your purpose. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Our first prayer point this evening, we are looking at Psalms 34. Psalms 34, verse 1 to 3. And in our first prayer point this evening, we are returning to God with thanks and celebration for what He has done for you, Back to Earth Ministries. For the, for the way He has helped this ministry to grow and to extend. We are going to thank God for what He is about to do with this ministry and what He has done. Psalms 34, verse 1 to 3 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. It says, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Verse 2 says, My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Verse 3 says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. So, this evening we are saying thank you to God for this ministry, for this church, for the impact word ministries. We are saying thank you to Him for what He has done, how He has established this ministry, how this ministry has grown, and where He's taking it to. So I want you to join me as we thank God for what He has done. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight we come and we say thank you. We come to say thank you, Father God, for what you have done for this church. Lord, for how you have shifted us, Father God, from the beginning, praise Father God, to where we are today. Thank you for the miracles that have taken place in this house. Thank you, Father God, for the signs and the wonders that you have done through this ministry. Thank you, Lord, that through this ministry, people's lives will change. People will transform. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for what you have done in Impact World Ministries. We thank you for this church. We thank you for this grace you have given us, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, my Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Our following prayer points, I want you to turn with me to Psalms 103. Psalms 103, verse 1 to 2. In this prayer point, we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you for sustaining us for the, through the first six months of this year. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining our families. Psalms 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, Amen. God has done wonders in our lives. And therefore tonight we say thank you. We say thank you, Father, for what you have done in the lives of our families. We say thank you, Father, for what you have done in, in our own lives. How you have added to us. How you have matured us. How you have healed us and restored us. So join me as we thank God for what he has done in our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight we say thank you. We say thank you, my Father God, for what you have done in the lives of us, in the lives of your people. Father God, thank you for the miracles that we were witnesses to. Thank you, Father God, for the healing that you've done in our lives. Thank you for the restoration. Thank you, Father God, for the in our lives. Thank you, Father God, 
in the name of Jesus, to give us ear to be in the very Amen. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, 
26 says, For you are in need of endurance. So, after that you have done the will of God, you will receive the promise. Amen. After you have done the will of God, you will receive your promise. Amen. He says in the first part, do not cast away your confidence. Keep persevering. Keep persevering. You will see it again. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 says, so, says to us, in all things, yes. give thanks. In all things, give thanks. For this is the word of God concerning you. So we are supposed to constantly be thanking God. So let us thank Him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for moving over every prayer that was made. Father God, we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you, Father God, for moving in the heart. Thank you. 
Yeah. 